Hey guys, Joshua Baintech, and I want to show you a video of how to return your Verizon Galaxy S6 back to stock using Odin. This is one of the best ways to get your phone out of the box kind of state. There's a few reasons why you might want to do this, and that might be because you need to get rid of root, which is actually the reason why I need to do it, so I want to show you guys how to do it as well. You might need to return it for any kind of warranty issues. You might want to trade or sell the phone. So there's all kinds of reasons why you might want to return the phone back to stock. And this video will show you how to do that. I'll also leave all the links that you need down below in the description of this video. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up for this video. And also, if you enjoy this video, share it with your friends and family. Hey guys, Joshua Bantech and I have a tutorial of how to return your Verizon Galaxy S6 back to stock. You're going to need to download a few files, so head on over to this XDA link. All those links will be down in the description of this video. All you got to do is pretty much just download this. It's going to take you to the Android file host. You'll begin the download. It's going to search for some mirrors and hit your primary download, then it will download. I've already done this, so just go ahead and hit that download. Then you're going to go down here and also click this, which will automatically start downloading Odin, which is the program that you're going to use to return your phone back to stock. If you need a set of written instructions, you have this list right here. It's actually pretty simple to use. If you've ever used Odin before, this will be familiar territory. So let's go ahead and dig on in and get this done. Be sure to follow these instructions. That way you know what to do. It's always good to just kind of sit back and watch it before you do the process. That way you can kind of get a comfortable feel of how the process is going to go. So you can head on over to your downloads folder and you got your Odin zip here and then also your stock file. So let's go ahead and open this. I'm going to go show to folder and I'm going to zip it with 7-zip. Extract the files. I'm going to extract it to my desktop. With this kind of process, it's always just best to go and put it on the desktop. It just makes things a lot easier. So we'll close out of that. We'll go show and folder here as well. And just to make sure that we want to unzip stuff, yep, we're going to go ahead and unzip that as well. So go show and folder, right click, 7-zip, extract folders or files. Again, let's go to the desktop. Right, so that's all done. So let's go back to our instructions. We're going to go ahead and open up Odin. And that's going to be this file right here. As you can see, application. It opens it right up. Go ahead and power down your device. Make sure you've got a good charge on it. Once you're all powered down, what you're going to want to do is go to download mode. And the way to do that is to hold the power, home, and volume down to get there. So you're going to get a little warning screen that says a custom OS can cause critical problems in the phone and installation applications, blah, blah, blah. So you want to choose volume up to continue. And now it's on download mode. What you're going to want to do is plug your phone into a USB. I'm using USB 2.0 into my PC. I've actually got 3.0 and 2.0, but I always like using 2.0 for this kind of stuff. So to have that all connected. Once the drivers are installed, you're going to see that the phone is added to the log. So that's actually a really good sign. That's good stuff right there. As soon as you have Odin opened, you're going to select the AP and load the Odin tar. So check that on. Hit AP. Go to your desktop. Click that folder and open. And then you have all your listing right here. Now sometimes you'll see not responding, so just be patient. Just let that load, don't touch anything. Sometimes it just kind of really depends on your PC. So let that be, just don't touch it. Even if it says not responding, just be patient. It's basically loading the ROM up. All right, so we're good to go. It said that it finished successfully, so all we have to do now is hit start. And just let it do its thing, don't touch anything, don't let it 
go, you know, power off or anything like that. Don't unplug it. Just let it do its thing. It'll let you know when it's all done. And you'll see a status bar on your phone to kind of let you know the progress. It should reflect the system on the Odin program as well. So you see a status bar on Odin as well as your phone. All right, at this point, you're gonna see that it passed and your device should be rebooting by now. All right, so now we're greeted with our welcome screen. So you should be able to start from scratch and kind of get everything all set up. 
All right, so you might have noticed that there was that custom logo on the Boots animation screen, and that's okay because on that first one, you're gonna see it, but if you reboot your device one more time, and I'll show you here in this little clip that it actually goes away and it is in fact out of the box stock. This is how you use Odin to return your phone to stock. Out of the box, brand new. So there we go, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found that this video is helpful to you, please give a thumbs up. Share this with your friends and family. They might need this one day. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah.